What's up, YouTube? It's PZZ Eschen here. Well, I'm going to be doing a bit of an update video. Um, but the first thing I'd really like to talk about, and it's probably going to be the title. I'm sorry, I'm blurry right now. Hang on. That my Mac is booting up right now, mainly for backlight. Oh come on! All right, it's apparently Bluetooth. Glass. Anyway, uh, Sue, so, a lot of stuff happening. Uh, yeah, today has been a very eventful day. Um. Today uh, happened to be the day I experienced my first ever earthquake. It was insane. I don't know. Um, it wasn't like insane. Uh, in fact, uh, I was pretty much unaffected by it. <laughs> um, I've, uh, all right, I can log in now, so hopefully I won't. The password didn't type. What the heck, Glenn? Uh, I wasn't like. Actually, I didn't freak out at all uh, about it. Here's how it played out. So, um, earlier today in my second block class, uh, which also happens to be my uh, networking class, the teacher uh, asked us if we had heard about what happened last night. The screen a little brighter. Er, there you go. Uh, so nobody really knew what happened last night, but it turns out there was this really big earthquake uh, that happened that occurred last night, and uh, I was feeling really, really bad for the people who had to experience the earthquake. You know, I, f I, I do feel bad for them still, but I was also th I also remember thinking, man, I am so glad I live where I live now, because where I live now, I will never have to experience what they experienced. Well lunch goes by, alright, we finish that class, then we finish lunch, then at the end of third block, which was actually programming with the same teacher, the programming class that I have with the, the same teacher and stuff, uh, I remember talking to one of my friends, the bell was about to ring, or it already had rang, I was just uh, talking to a friend, and I remember, while I was talking to him, shaky, 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 the ground was shaking, like the, the school was shaking. So I had thought, so in my mind I was thinking, huh, that's a that's a very big shake. I mean, in my mind I was thinking that somebody was moving uh, like maybe a laptop rack down the hall or something, but, well, obviously, first of all, <laughs> the ground was shaking probably this much. I mean, that's probably about what it was. Probably at this rate, too. And, uh... A, that would take a lot of laptops, and B, that would take a very off-balance uh, wheel axle for, you know, the whole ground to be shaking like that. So, I went, I got to my, uh, but you see, here's a strange thing. Well, I was, I felt it, I think, while I was talking, I just didn't say anything about it, because for some reason it never really registered in my mind that, holy crap, there's an earthquake, uh, but... Yeah, it was pretty insane. Not yeah, it was pretty insane. But uh, when I got finally got into my chemistry class, uh, which is the next block, uh, the physics teacher was really really excited. The physics teacher, he had came in there to get all excited with uh, and um, you know explained his excitement to my chemistry teacher and whatnot. And uh, I wasn't really paying attention to what they were saying. So even while he was like jumping up and down about the earthquake, I still didn't know really that an earthquake that I had just experienced an earthquake. Uh, never in my mind did I think that that was an earthquake. I just, for some reason, thought that was just a very big vibration across the hall or something. I don't know. Uh, but when the uh, chemistry teacher said, uh, when the chemistry teacher asked if uh, anybody had felt the uh, the building shake, I'm sorry, I probably look freaky right now. Let's do this a little bit. Um, I was then thinking, wow. No, he's on the other side of the building, and he felt it. So they're like, wow, the whole building was shaking. Holy crap. Uh, and then he stated that he had thought it was actually an earthquake. So I'm then like, what? Are you serious? So it turns out, yeah, I did have to experience an earthquake after all. So you can never, uh, don't ever say that. Because where I live, uh, it's rare that we get earthquakes and stuff. But it turns out there were two earthquakes. There was the first earthquake, which happened at 
2 o'clock-ish, I felt. But then there was, like, another one at 2.30 uh, that I had no idea about. I didn't... May maybe I felt it a little bit. I did feel a little bit of shaking, but maybe not much. It was probably, like, that much. It wasn't a big earthquake. Uh, in fact, I had thought it was just vibrations going on under, like, the, the classroom below us. But, yeah, I certainly did feel a little... You know, so maybe it was that second earthquake. I don't know. Uh, but it could have also been the fact that my legs were shaking. <laughs> like, I just went through an earthquake. Holy crap. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, that was, uh, pretty exciting. Uh, I'm glad that the house is still standing. I was getting kind of worried, because this is kind of an old house, and, uh, I was just, you know, a little bit nervous about it, but, you know, it's fine. Everything is intact, at least what I see. I don't see, like, anything on the ground that shouldn't be on the ground, so, yeah. Well, I mean, I see stuff on the ground that shouldn't be on the ground, but nothing like my lamps are not on the floor right now, if you know what I mean. Uh, sorry, guys, I have a stuffy nose. Um, just been stuffy for the past few days. Um, so, now onto the update video part. I've got really two things to talk about. Uh, the first one is kind of big. Uh, as you remember, uh, I had mentioned that I had thought that the earthquake could have possibly been a laptop rack. Well, yeah, it turns out this is laptop deployment week. And check this out. Bam. Actually, I'll restart recording because I touched the screen a little bit. But yep, I got the uh, Dell Latitude E5400 back. So I'm pretty glad about that. Um, it's nice to have a little laptop around the house. I would like to have my own laptop, but hey, this is pretty good enough for me. Uh, so I do have my lappy back. Uh, I got it yesterday uh, during a networking test which was kind of sucky, but oh well, what can you do? Um, just made it up during programming, so it was kind of all convenient. Uh, yesterday in programming, we also learned about how to convert ASCII to binary. Actually, how to convert binary to ASCII, but uh, it was pretty cool. Now, the second thing is kind of something a little bit, you know, extra, but check this out. I found this at the mall today. It's a Coca-Cola puzzle. So, I've already opened it. I haven't really done anything with it yet but basically it's a jigsaw puzzle as you can see and it's the right size of a coca-cola can and uh as you can see there's this little lever this little tab down here when you push it a one of the puzzle pieces comes out and then you just continue on to uh dismantle it so i will have to mess around with this thing a little bit and i'll probably review it later on probably I just, I can't make any promises for some reason. I don't know what it is. Especially when it comes to YouTube videos and whatnot. But there's some pink in there. Do you see that? You see these little pegs here. Uh, the pieces have little corresponding holes that they fit in. Uh, but anyway, wow, I'm impressed. This is a one-part video. I was afraid this is going to be need to be a two-part video. But, okay. Uh, that's, uh, that's always good. So, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. If and whatever that is. So... Thanks for watching.